guys, it's coffee time. Yeah, what you doing? Knocking stuff over? The cats are in that antsy stage where they're like, I think maybe we're eating soon. Are we supposed to eat soon? Are we supposed to eat right now? And I'm like, no, pretty sure you've got another hour to wait until you normally eat. And they're both like, no, I think maybe your clock's wrong. I think, you know, we would know because we eat at that time every day. So it's definitely right now. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's what's going on here, huh? Huh, I found the best Vine account. So I finally just like, I figured, you know what? There's gotta be something to Vine. I'm gonna just look and see what sort of people are on Vine because the only thing that I can think of for why people would still be using Vine when you can basically do the exact same thing on Instagram, aside from the fact that you can now import like normal videos from your computer onto Vine. I don't know how people were doing some of the crazy stuff they were doing before that, but anyway. So I was like, there have got to be some people on there that are just really funny, right? There have got, there has to have already been a community of really funny people on Vine that keeps everybody there. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go looking. I'm gonna go looking for some funny people, and oh man, <laughs> I found some super weirdos that are now like my favorite people in the world. Um, one of them, oh my gosh, what is her name? Hold on, I'm gonna have to go into my Vine account. One of them is called Big Cat Derek that I absolutely love and it's just this guy who works at like a big cat shelter um, and he like, he makes the weirdest little vines. Some of them are things like this where it's just like, oh, this is a big cat eating, eating a little meat snack, right? But then there's ones where like, it's basically like a skit with the cats and it cracks me up. But uh, the other person is Reiko Uzeki, Reiko Uzeki. Dude, <laughs> she's like this little Japanese girl who does these vines that are super spastic. They're like extremely fast paced and they switch around constantly and she just talks so fast. And when she wants something to seem like even more spastic than usual, she like shakes the phone. It's the funniest thing in the world to me. Like Aaron showed it to me yesterday um, and I was losing it. I was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> so those are my two new favorite people on Vine. So there you go. I have a big old cup of coffee tonight because I want to get a lot done tonight. Today we did a, uh, a Borderlands stream. It was supposed to start at three and it wound up starting after four, which was kind of like, oh man, but it was fine. It was fun. We got to play a little bit of the pre-sequel with the devs and stuff and that was cool. Um, so we had fun with that. And before that, I did a little stream where I made, I made a little cat. <laughs> so that'll be uploaded. Um, I know that the last couple of streams, uh, the last couple of craft streams haven't been uploaded. But this one will definitely go up, I promise. Because we talked about shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings and all that. So, yeah. Tonight, I'm going to play a bunch of Hot to Full Boyfriend and do laundry and maybe put some stuff away that's in the living room. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I have big plans tonight. Who knows? It's probably going to hit like midnight and I'm just going to be like, oh my god, I'm so tired. But if I can, if I can get past that hump and get a lot done today, I'm going to feel so good about myself. So what are you doing? Mom, it's time to eat. I'm positive. I'm positive that it's time to eat. I think you're wrong. I think you're really wrong about this. Yeah. She just walks off dejected. Whatever. Whatever, Mom. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, but yeah. This morning, we did Daily Bite. And then immediately after that, I had lunch with my channel manager. And she and I talked about the future and stuff like that. And that was really fun. I really love her. Her name's Sarah. She's like the best. She's super cool. So we talked about my channel and what's working, what isn't working, that sort of stuff, you know, just like what I enjoy doing, what I want to do in the future, which it's always weird every time somebody asks me about my future with YouTube, like, what do you, you know, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? I literally, I can't say still doing YouTube because I've never ever once assumed that YouTube would continue for very long, like, that it would, that it would still be 
a viable way to be living. <laughs> like that would blow my mind if in five or especially ten years I'm still able to be doing this and like have this be my life. That would be nuts. So I never think of it that way. I was like, I don't know, doing something, <laughs> Do, doing something fun. I hope like maybe being a crazy old lady with a, with a coffee shop. I don't know. I don't know guys doing, doing something fun. So. Mm hmm. What? What is it? I know. Yeah. Tell me about your feelings. Mm-hmm. What else? <laughs> before you were so vocal. You were so vocal before. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, your fingers taste real weird. Probably tastes like dogs. Yeah, dogs. Oh no, are you upset with me? It's not that I don't still love cats, there are just lots of dogs at the office. Hey! Yeah, do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? Huh? <laughs> My sweet girl. My sweet girl. Sorry. I really like my cats. <laughs> there are a lot of people in the building with dogs too. I always wonder, cause you know, you, you always, when you live somewhere, when you live in like a complex, you have an idea of, you have an idea of how many people percentage wise have dogs, right? Because people have to take their dogs out for walks. So you, you get to understand like who has dogs, who has which dogs, like how many dogs are there in the building at large. But with cats, you never know. Like I remember in my old place, I was so shocked when my neighbor who had Ruby, you guys remember Ruby, when my neighbor and I, he saw Sherlock and he said, oh my God, your cat looks exactly like my cat. And I was like, you have a cat too? Like it blew my mind because I knew that they had two big dogs, right? So when he was like, oh, your cat looks just like my cat, I was like, you have a cat? It was insane to me because I had already established in my mind like these people have dogs, these people have dogs, these people have dogs, which is to say that literally everybody in our building had dogs, but I had no gauge of who had cats and no clue, no clue at all. And to this day, I still only know that the people downstairs had a cat because they told me they had a cat and maybe other people in the building had cats and I just did not know had no clue. <laughs> so like, for me, people probably know that I have cats. You want to know why? Because the second I open up my front door, I go, hi honeys, I'm home. Are you good? Are you hungry? Are you excited to see me? I like full on baby talk the second I walk in the door, right? So I kind of give myself away. But I think the normal person who is not a crazy cat lady is going to walk into their apartment and be like, yo, what up animals? Or just not say anything at all. Because most people, I don't think, necessarily talk to their cats all day long. Unlike myself. Unlike me. Yeah. It's so easy, though, when you talk back. Oh, come on. I didn't mean that to be mean. Yeah, I'm just saying that, like, you know, you're loud and I'm loud. We belong together. What? Yeah, I know you're fussy because you're hungry. Yeah, I get it. Okay, okay. Just let me finish talking to them and then I'll feed you, okay? Yeah. Come on, lay down. Why are you meowing while you lick me? You're so weird. Yeah, come on. You're so fussy. You're so fussy. You're so fussy. Sherlock's just like hanging out, huh? Yeah, Sherlock just hangs out. And Watson just throws a fit. Yeah. 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 Oh, and here's Sherlock. <laughs> oh, I tried to show you to everybody and you ran away. Such a butt. Well, I better feed them because they are apparently ravenous. <laughs> 
Actually, not for another 20 minutes, huh? Not for another 20 minutes till you eat. So you're just going to be bugging me until, until that time comes. But I'm going to go get started on my work. But I hope you guys have had an amazing day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Would you stop?